Hello and welcome to the last section in the free code camps object oriented and functional programming section. This lesson join strings with join we will look over the join method and it tells us we can use the join method to join each element of an array into a string separated by whatever delimiter you provide as an argument. The following is an example of using join to join all of the elements of an array into a string with all the elements separated by word and. So they have this array, veggies, that contains celery, radish, carrot, potato. And they have this, they create this variable salad and they assign to it veggies.join with the delimiter space and space. Then they console log salad which is going to grab the array veggies and it's going to add everywhere there's a comma it's going to replace it with space and space. So we'll have celery and radish and carrot and potato when we console log so use the join method to create a string from join me with spaces in between each element and assign it to joined string. So here it's telling us with spaces in between each element. So here they had space and and then space again. They just want us to have a space so all we would have is just a space. So down here, you should join the elements of the array with spaces. You should use the join method on the array. So we have our array called join me. And it contains split, contains me, contains into, contains an, and it contains array. We have this joined string that is currently empty. And down here they want us on line 7 to take join string and assign to it join me dot join and we're going to pass in the delimiter that is a space. So this will take our array and everywhere there's a comma it will add this delimiter of a space. So then we'll have split me into an array as a string saved into joined string. And that will complete this lesson and the object oriented and functional programming section of free code camp. We should have that string console logged when we run tests. As you guys can see, if we go up to here we have split me into an array printed onto our console. And that is it for the object oriented and functional programming section of Free Code Camp. Stick around for the next section.